Hey friends, welcome back to And Boo Nothing But The Truth. I got my crew up in the house. <laughs> Lord is Cindy H-Bomb. Right. We hold it down up in here. So today's topic, uh, a friend posted on Facebook the other day, and I hear a lot of women say this, that men always say they want a lady, but they choose the tramp. <laughs> And I see it a lot. I'll see men in the streets all the time. Oh, I'm looking for the wifey. But every time I see him, he got some skank on his arm. <laughs> I'm like, you know, the honey look like a straight hooker. Mm -hmm. So tell me, ladies and Harold, mm -hmm. why do you think men choose the tramp over the lady sometimes? Because they put the snapper on them. Yeah. <laughs> they don't put the... Mm -hmm. um, I think <clears throat> you, you have to have a balance. And mm -hmm. a lot of times the wifey, you know, who they consider wifey or um, either can get boring or too conservative mm -hmm. or I don't do this, I don't do that. And that mm -hmm. can build up sexual frustration. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, and sexual frustration is real. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's real, you know. And yeah. um, so I think without without having to go through the, oh, I've got to take her out to eat, I gotta buy this bracelet, buy these earrings, the foreplay, you know, all of that. Right. I can just get with a tramp. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she's just gonna Their expectations mm -hmm. are lower. Yeah. <laughs> Very low. And then she'll just be the jump off and that's exactly what she'll do. That's what he needs at the moment. He yeah. ain't gotta put in a lot of work. Right. Lourdes, what do you think? I think what Cindy said is just the, the ease of it. And then like the tramps are usually like the fun, the free ones where mm -hmm. they don't have to worry about too much. So, you know, they could just, let's go have some fun. Let's get a room, do it in the car, whatever. Just <laughs> go at it. Yeah, yeah you know, I agree, with, all I agree with both of you. Yep, you know, totally. Attached. Yep. yep. So, hey, H-Bomb, you're a man. Uh, Speak on it, brother. Right. Well, see, one of the things you have to understand is we as men, <clears throat> we do have faithful brothers out there. Don't get it twisted. Uh, you got those that's going to be with their woman through thick and thin. Yeah. But you have to understand a lot of guys like variety, okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of times you want to have that lady in the streets freaking the bed. Right. So if you can't get that from your particular one woman, what's going to happen is to satisfy your sexual appetite that you're not getting at home, you're going to get it out there in the street somewhere. Mm -hmm. So normally strip club, out in the streets, somebody over in, you know, the little <laughs> local spot. <clears throat> You're going, to, you're going to want that. You know so if you can't the Hooters get, waitress. Want, the local spot. Right, yeah, right. The local spot. Go out there. Maybe that's why Tiger was choosing them honeys. Well, yeah. that's what happens. Yeah. If it happens, you, you don't get it at home. You get you like it a certain way. You like to be done a certain way. Mm -hmm. And you like to have it a certain way. And she ain't doing it. Right. Brother going to get it somewhere else. And also, also you're right. I agree. Um, <clears throat> it, when you mentioned Tiger Woods, it made me think of the, the one girl that has been on a lot of the interviews. And she treated Tiger like a king. Yeah. And he didn't give her a dime, yeah. you know, for the two or three years that they were, you know, messing around or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's what they'll do. Sometimes they'll, you know, their expectations are low, but then also they'll treat them, make them feel like men. I can't agree more. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, if you want your man to adore you, don't show up with a I don't do this and I don't do that list. Because you know what's going through his mind as soon as you say that? Mm. what I'm going to be doing without you. <laughs> you better exactly. figure it out. You know, like Monique said, what you're not willing to do, another Sip. woman will. Right. So if your man wants to put his sausage up in your ear, you better <laughs> lend him your ear. <laughs> right? Awesome. But it's true, it's true. But it's true. You got to know how to be. I mean, let's just put, let's keep it 100% real. Mm -hmm. Men are yeah. some nasty, straight up dog ass <laughs> freaks in the bed. Okay, I can't agree. Okay? Y'all are some freaks. Y'all are some freaks. Yeah. 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 Y'all are some <laughs> freaky, <laughs> deaky, <laughs> nasty, but so are women. Y'all are nasty. Flip side of that, because women the same way. Y'all just hide a little better. Y'all do the same. Well, let's let's keep it nasty. real. Men are what? men like it nasty. Y'all yes. like it freaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you don't like it nasty and freaky. I'm not saying I'm down. I'm trying to make a it point. Both ways. That's what I'm saying, brother. You're not listening. That's what I'm saying. So, women, if you want to please your man, you better learn how to get freaky and nasty with him. Because, like Harold says, if you ain't willing to do it, he will find it somewhere in the streets. Just like a just like a scallywag dog. If he goes to one trash can, he's a stray dog, and he doesn't find food, he will find food in someone else's trash can. 
-hmm. so, so appetite is real. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> Men's sexual, don't ever underestimate a man's sexual appetite. It, or, so. a woman. <clears throat> or a woman. Or a woman. But we're going to wrap this up. Thank you. I think all, everybody was correct on that. And if you agree or disagree, please comment in the box below. And you can also find me on Facebook.com slash Booze Views. You can follow me at Twitter slash Booze Views and my website, VoozViews.com. Look forward to seeing y'all next time. Thank Yay. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be scared to be a <laughs> <laughs> For your man.